And back to the fires, Lahaina is totally gone. That's what a longtime resident tells us after she fled her home and lost everything in the fire. KITV4's Diana Coe has her story, and this is new at nine. I own nothing. I have the clothes on my back in my car, and that is it. Fina Davis gathered her family of eight and fled to a family home in Kahana on Tuesday. And we decided to go ahead and evacuate out of Lahaina. My niece, whose father is one of the firefighters and through family, let us know that we need to leave Lahaina because they were running out of water. They self-evacuated. We didn't get the uh, evacuation alarms until 8 p.m. The fire started around 3.30. It reached my house on the ocean side of Lahaina, Front Street, by 5 p.m. was when there was so much smoke we had to evacuate. Davis lived in Lahaina for 20 years, and this is the worst disaster she's seen there or anywhere. In my life, anywhere. There's nothing like it. There, There isn't a Lahaina left. There's no Lahaina Harbor. There's no Mala Wharf. Every restaurant is burned. All the neighborhoods, like the Johto Mission, all those homes on Front Street are completely burned to the ground. With phone and internet lines down, she's had to work to assure her loved ones on the mainland she's okay. How are people finding out about their loved ones? They're not. And so we drove up this morning all the way up to the coffee farms above Kapalua, to the very, very top of the coffee farms, and we were able to get phone service. She is in shock and describes a range of emotions in the people around her. Some people are emotional, but others are just don't eat. They're confused. Um, a lot of people don't know what to do. They needed, they needed more direction, people to help them navigate the situation. Now, she's worried about her friends on the northern end of Lahaina. There are still people there. I mean, I'm lucky that I had gas. A lot of my friends can't can't leave because they don't have gas. They're in Kanapali, which is, you know, feels a little safer since they, the fire department is confident that they're going to be able to hold the fire back to that point. She says all she can do now is pray. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. So heartbreaking to see those images. At last check, Hawaii Pacific Health says there are three burn patients from Maui who were last reported to be in critical condition, and the three people are now being treated at Straub Medical Center's burn unit in Honolulu.